you guys, I am back with another video and welcome to Musk on the Move. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. In this video, I am going to discuss a few things that you can keep in mind while purchasing a piece of clothing to make sure that it is high quality, which in turn will last you longer and save you money as well. So slowly things are opening up. What we can do is at least try and not go back to our old shopping habits, especially clothing shopping habits. Clothes have become a sort of disposable commodity over time. We buy a piece of clothing, wear it a few times and dispose it off. That's why fast fashion brands love us so much. Because we care about trends more than our planet and environment. In today's video, let's change our perspective a little bit. We just have to get a little aware and educated about the clothes that we buy regularly. Of course, nothing is going to change overnight, but a little contribution and some changes in our spending habits can make an impact. I agree that high quality clothes are a bit more expensive when compared to fast fashion clothing, but there's a reason for that. They are made ethically, keeping the environment in mind, the workers making your garments are paid fair wages, and these clothes are not a burden on the planet. I mean, clothing is not something to be disposed of after we wear it 6-7 times. Think of it as an investment. You are investing your money to get something amazing that you can cherish, love for a good amount of time. But the concept of fast fashion clothing has totally taken over the joy of owning a particular piece of clothing. The culture of overconsumption, and I call it clothing overdose, is backed by trends. I mean, there's no limit. I myself am from a fashion background in terms of industry experience and education. And I was a fast fashion gal for my entire college duration. And I'm not proud of it. The culture of slow fashion needs to penetrate the fashion industry and the faster it happens, the better. Let me walk you through some of the basic things that you can check in a garment while shopping, which will help you differentiate between a good quality and a poor quality piece of garment. And I really think it's so important, regardless of the budget or price point you can work with. It's really important to know what to look for. I have made a video about slow fashion and how you can adapt it gradually in your lifestyle. I would recommend you watch the video to know more about slow fashion. Now let's see what are the points we can keep in mind while identifying a good quality clothing. First thing that comes to mind is the feel of the fabric. It is called hand of the fabric. Another word for this is hand feel. It is the textile industry lingo for a fabric's texture, drape and perceived coolness or warmth of the fabric. In addition to the hand, we should also see whether or not the fabric of the garment is appropriate for the garment itself. For example, a summer dress made of polyester is defeating the purpose as polyester is warm by nature. It will trap the heat and it won't be comfortable for a summer dress. On the other hand, a summer dress made of cotton will complement the purpose of wearing it in hot places. Another thing to keep in mind is that the inside of the garment should be just as beautiful as the outside. Always look for natural fabrics whenever and wherever possible. Garments made of cotton, linen, hemp, silk, wool, bamboo, pencil or even milk, lotus, banana etc. But then in all fabrics like polyester, nylon, rayon and even cotton in a lot of ways is not at all good for the planet. And be careful of polyester fabrics. They are exceptionally cheap and are probably poorly manufactured. Also, watch out for acrylic. For example, sweaters that are more than 50% acrylic won't last long. One very valuable test that you can try on knitted fabrics while still in the store is stretching the fabric to see how thick or transparent it is. If you see that after stretching, the fabric does not restore its original size and volume, it is highly unlikely to be a high quality garment. I have a lot to share about fabrics itself which if I start now will make this video really long. So I'm going to make another detailed video about just fabrics. All right, moving on. I never had the habit of checking garment labels when I was a kid. In fact, I used to cut them off the moment I got them on my side of the counter. But it is so, so important and it gives you a great deal of information about your garment. It pretty much tells you everything where it is made, what kind of blend this garment has, from blends, you can figure out what kind of stretch the garment has. Is it sweat absorbent or wrinkles too easy or not? Clothing should have minimal blends as possible. Natural fiber and synthetic blends are okay if most of the material is natural. 
high quality clothes always fit really well when you put them on. You can try them out and really feel how it falls on your body. Does it have enough stretch on the hip and on the chest area? You can always look for darts that make a garment fit on you better and accentuates the right places. For example, a nicely fitted shirt would always have darts at the back to fit better. Also, when you're buying a shirt, look out for the yoke at the back. Especially if you have trouble finding a shirt that fits perfectly on your shoulder and does not produce stretch marks, you should definitely consider a shirt with a well-crafted yoke or even a dress for that matter. Coming to the stitches, the more stitches per inch, the higher quality the garment is. It should be nice and tight without loose threads coming out. You can also stretch the garment at the place of stitches and see the gaps in between. This is another sign of a poor quality garment. A good brand or a piece of clothing will never leave you without extra buttons that you can use if one breaks. Buttonholes also should have tight stitching and a neat slot for the button to go into. The material of buttons and other accessories can tell you a lot about the quality of a garment. Check the material of zippers. Go for metal or wooden zippers. Check for the quality of draw cords. They should not be rough on the skin and should also have a little stretch themselves. A finished and covered seam is a good indicator. Where we can't see the raw stitch directly. Also, seam allowance should be there. In simple language, it is the extra fabric that allows you to alter your garments if they are tight at any particular area. Also, check for seam allowances on the hemline of dresses and pants. It really comes out handy if you're tall like me and want a little more length to your garment. Coming to linings, lining is a layer of different material covering the inside surface of something. A curtain, clothing, bed cover, etc. For lining, we should take a look at the garment on the inside and look at its lining. First of all, look at the composition of the fabric. Good linings are made of viscose or cotton so that the skin feels comfortable and can breathe. You can test it by pinching the fabric lightly and rub your fingers together to see if there is lining present. Very often, high quality clothing is made by adding an extra satin band at the place where facial liner and lining meet. <music> Lastly, do not hesitate to ask questions. Ask the staff questions. Ask the brand about their process and how sustainable they are. And do they just claim to be working ethically? You know you get my point, right? This is how we can educate ourselves by asking the brands question about their own product. That won't be difficult for them at all if they are true to their claims, right? If nothing, at least we'll learn a thing or two for better shopping experience and it'll help us become a more aware and educated customer who is not gullible. The take, make and waste philosophy is eating up our planet one cheap clothing at a time. It's time to stop and realize that our actions have a huge impact on our environment. And our direct contribution to the landfills is going to come back to us eventually and not in the form of roses. So let's at least consider and start investing in the type of clothes that are friends with the environment as well. And that's all for today you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found this video valuable and if yes, comment down below and let me know what else do you consider while going out shopping. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!